I am dying and fast. This quote is from Gordon Aikman, who was diagnosed with motor neuron disease, or MND, at age 29. Unlike Professor Hawking, who has had this disease for decades, 80% of MND patients die within five years after diagnosis. If you had MND, you could feel, could think, but you will gradually lose your ability to button your shirt, move your legs, and even speak. Eventually, you would not be able to breathe. These happen due to the degeneration of a group of nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord called motor neurons, which control muscle contraction. Since the first description of MND in 1869, no cure has been found. Why? One reason is because the neighboring cells surrounding motor neurons have long been neglected. Among these neighboring cells, there is one cell type with a star-like shape called astrocytes. If a motor neuron was a flower in your garden, astrocytes would be the soil. In a healthy brain, Astrocytes produce nutrients and facilitate neuronal functions. Whereas in patients, astrocytes may lose these abilities and even become detrimental to motor neurons. In my PhD, I wanted to ask, what would happen to motor neurons if astrocytes carry the gene mutation that is the most common genetic cause of MND? To find answers, I used a human stem cell technique that allows me to make astrocytes from both healthy individuals and MND patients who have this mutation. I found mutant astrocytes die much faster than normal ones, suggesting the mutant astrocytes are less healthy. What does this mean to motor neurons? To answer this question, I divided healthy motor neurons into two groups, one cultured with normal astrocytes and the other cultured with mutant astrocytes. I found motor neurons in the second group are much smaller and less functional. This finding is very important because for the first time it has been shown that these mutant astrocytes can adversely affect motor neuron functions. And this function of motor neurons is responsible for patient symptoms. I'm now trying to find out the cause of this adverse effect and the weather came stopped. If we can modify the soil that motor neurons are living in, we may be able to rescue the dying motor neurons in patients to slow, stop, or even reverse this cruel disease. Thank you.